Welcome to your weekly messages from your angels and your higher self with me, Julie Poole. And if this is your first time here, welcome. If you like what you see, please subscribe, click the little bell so you don't miss anything. All the cards that I use are listed in the description below. And we start with messages from your higher self, which I use the tarot cards for. And then I go on to messages from your angels. So stay tuned right to the end so you don't miss a thing. Now let's dive right in. Hi Taurus, welcome to your messages for the 19th of March. So this week we're moving into the spring equinox in the northern hemisphere and we're also moving into Mercury retrograde on the 23rd. Um, for you guys in the southern hemisphere, welcome to autumn. Um, so let's see what we've got for you this week. Now, mm, okay, I want to start with your angel cards actually. So your angels are asking you to look at the here and now. Look at the here and now. There is a learning opportunity here for you. Very often we live in the future or we live in the past. Now, for you guys this week, your angels are asking you to please look at now. All right, now. <laughs> not last year, not next year, now. All right, so this message for you this week is about learning. We are learning to focus on what is going on in my life right now. Am I happy and content with it right now? And I need to learn about how to focus more on the present. Now, let's look at what your higher self wants to say about this. This is messages now coming from your higher self. For a lot of you, this is, <clears throat> excuse me, for a lot of you, this is about money. We've got the six of pentacles. Now, I had this for Aries as well. So we've got some money time going on here. Now, I don't know what it is in the US, but in the UK, end of March is the end of the financial year. We start a new financial year beginning of April. So many self-employed people are scrabbling about finishing their accounts. Uh, many of you who are employed are looking at, am I being paid enough for what I do? Because we've got the justice card. Now, the justice card is saying, hmm, is this fair? Is this right? Is this just? Am I being paid enough for the work that I do? Because some of you, we've got the seven of uh, wands reversed. Now, seven of wands, look at the card on the screen next to you. This is a card of being very defensive, holding your position, protecting yourself, all right? He's guarding his door there. No, you're not coming through. This is mine, all right? Now, he's upside down, and this is all related to these other cards, guys. So we're saying, am I defending myself here? Am I sticking up for myself enough? Am I being taken advantage of? Um, is somebody not paying me what I deserve to be paid um, and I'm just letting them get away with it I'm not saying anything I'm not saying hang on whoa 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 I need and deserve a bit more here all right so that seven being upside down is saying you your higher self is asking you to stick up for yourself a little bit more defend yourself a little bit more look at your income look at what you're earning look at whether it is fair and just because justice is wanting to come in here we work hard and it's right that we receive our just rewards for the work that we do now this doesn't just have to be about financial rewards there are many ways we can be rewarded okay it's not just about money and again with work it's not always about going into a paid job our work can be our family our home our work can be many things and it doesn't come back in money but it can come back in love and appreciation and gifts of time and treats but it's basically asking you this week to look at am i receiving because this is saying i'm not okay i'm not defending myself i'm not really thinking about the here and now i'm thinking about oh it'll be all right right and it's kind of saying well right here right now it's not so much all right because we've got the queen of wands reversed now the queen of wands whether you're male or female is irrelevant the queen is a card who is this is about work and career very often she knows where she's going she knows what she wants she's very clear now she's upside down at the moment so she's feeling a bit disempowered and this is you guys you're kind of feeling a bit mm, you know 
I don't know if this is very fair. I don't know if I'm earning enough money for what I'm being paid. Um, and if I'm not, it's not about money, but I'm not receiving the recognition. I'm not receiving the appreciation or the care. And I've not done anything about it. I'm just kind of letting people get away with it. So the messages for this week for you guys, Taurus, is to say, have a little look. Focus on the here and now. Take the learning from this as well, all right? We want to not keep repeating the same patterns. We want to see everything as an opportunity to grow and learn and develop into the strongest, best version of ourselves. All right, so I hope this makes sense. Let me know, comment below, and I'll see you next week for more messages from your angels and your higher self. Bye, Taurus.